Hello, family. How are you tonight? If I'm not mistaken, it's a dark moon. Okay. So, which is, we know what we do when it's a dark moon. Merry meet to you all, warlocks, priests, priestesses, shamans, vampires. All of you spiritualists, I would like to say tonight. Hello. Okay, family. I just had that in my heart and in my mind to speak to every last one of you all. Look, let's talk for the umpteenth time. People, not talking about family, I'm talking to the people who are just straying upon my channel. Look, I had an incident. Where there's a young lady that was frightened of me. <sighs> People, I need to tell you something. You all know that I'm a medium. Let me explain what a medium is without wasting too much of my video once again. And I'm thinking that I'm going to have to take this video... And let this be the featured video on the channel. Because a lot of people are contacting me. I won't I'll say a lot of people contact me. But I want to say that this one takes the cake. This she this she's a one in a million, okay? A lot of folks don't know what a two-headed doctor is. Family, I'm not talking about you all, because most of you all know what it is, okay? But I must say this for the newcomers. A two-headed doctor is what the people here or the people in the old south called a person who would have been a psychic. The two heads stand for the fact that we talk to many spirits. So we have this head, the head you can see, and the invisible head. So we are two-headed, okay? A spirit can come upon me. And once again, for the love of the gods, the goddesses, the witches, and the warlocks, my whole posture will change. My whole personality and demeanor will change, okay? This is something that I was born with. I was born with a veil over my face i'm not your ordinary human being okay and i wish this young lady would have known it before she contacted me when i told her that she had two spirits around her that were deceased and called her name she got frightened okay if you call me and you tell me you want a reading i'm gonna give you a thorough reading i'm going to tell you everything i'm a medium what do you expect i'm a two-headed doctor what do you expect she also went on to say that mama had split personality disorder and she just couldn't deal with that those are the terms that psychiatrists and doctors will give the term because they do not understand okay the particular gift that many are born with okay some people it is out of control some people is manageable okay and i've been known that i've had this gift for all of my life okay there is a such thing as a medium okay they have shows on it there's a lady she's a medium she has a reality show and guess what mama been contacted by a casting agent to do a medium show here in the south i hadn't heard back from him but he contacted me why well, i don't know i haven't heard anything else from him he shot me an email and i went ahead made the phone call and i haven't heard anything okay so but anyway we're gonna see what happens but anyway and he could be watching this video hello i was waiting on you you wanted to do a skype interview i'm ready for you <laughs> but she could not get it she didn't understand it so if you are one who uh, uh uh one who is of a very scientifical type nature and background 
then you would you wouldn't want to contact mama okay if everything that you deal with in life um has to be proven you know by some type of science then you don't want to call me because science cannot explain everything okay science would not be able to tell you why these people that they say have the split personality disorder have many different personalities okay now i don't know about the split personality but i do know that spirits move in me if you contact me you want to talk to your granddaddy he'll move through me and i will be your grandfather for that moment so if that split personality disorder to to you then don't contact the medium okay don't do it her brother came through to me okay and i was able to let her know how he felt and the fact that he was not at peace because he was worried and, and concerned about her safety and from there all hell broke loose okay so if you don't want to know these things don't contact the medium don't contact a psychic. We're not the people you need to be talking to. Or find someone who may have a filter and not tell you what's really going on. But I feel like if you contact me and you, you know, pay me a fee to conduct a reading, you are saying you have permission to tell me what is going on in my life. And if you don't want that, don't go to a doc. Don't don't go to a, a, a two headed doctor. Just like if you don't want to know you sick, do not go to a physician. Then you won't have to worry about finding out that you've been diagnosed with this, that, or the other. Okay. And also be careful what you ask for because you just might get it anyway. I wanted to start the video off with that because I need to stress to people what a medium is, what a two headed doctor is. Okay. Uh not all psychics are mediums you can be very intuitive because to some degree we all are psychic anyway okay but we all are not mediums that makes the difference okay uh, not trying to brag or anything like that but i'm pretty much one of the best here in alabama but now there there are some that are much better than me but they're hard to find not many of them are making so-called homemade YouTube videos. That's what the young lady said. I was making homemade YouTube videos. I mean, pretty much everybody on YouTube is making like so-called homemade videos because you're broadcasting yourself. Okay, that fear she had in here in her was unimaginable. I've never experienced that. I've done readings for people all over the world. Anyway let's let's get back on subject because what i wanted to talk about tonight is sex yes you all love that word sex mm, what a beautiful gift given to us by the gods and the goddesses okay let's talk about that and let me wind down from from that little rant that i had because I just want to stress to everybody what is going on. Not to y'all family, but these people who are just popping up and wanting these. I, I don't know what they want. I found that people don't want the truth. They want me to sugarcoat it and just let them know, hey, you know what? You're going to be winning the lottery in a couple of weeks. And, and, and I can't do that. Do you know there's consequences to what you tell people? If I tell you, oh, you're going to win $2,000 next week, then that's actually like blessing you with the money. And if the if the spirits do not see fit, then guess what? If that person get that $2,000, they're going to take it from me. So there, there, are very, there are some words I never say. And one of them in particular is Y-E-S. I, I try my best not to give you a go card. To give you a go card is to bless you with a gift and you may not deserve it. And if you don't deserve it, then guess what? I have a deficit on my end, okay? To kind of give you all an idea how this thing works, okay? Because there are a lot of practitioners here that, you know, come here for knowledge to share with me and to help me on my journey. We all are sharing on our journey. And, and you know what? I won't be able to get to this sex topic today and I might 
have to just not 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 today i'm sorry this video i may just have to do it in another video because I, it's just so many other things i want to talk about so it may be another video but first of all i would like to say come out and visit me on facebook okay um, I'm going to start back doing a little bit more activity on Facebook. I kind of got away a little bit with doing the um, post on Facebook. You all feel free to do some posts long as we are all respecting one another. Okay. We can all post on Facebook. And no, no one has to necessarily agree with everything I say or the family says, but we do need to respect each other's opinions. Visit me at Spirit Tree Naima. As a matter of fact, somewhere on the channel, you will see a Facebook icon. Click on it. You'll go straight to me. For those who don't want to do it that way, just go to Spirit Tree Naima. S P I R I T R E E N Y E M M A. Come out there and visit the family. This is a place where we can say whatever we want to, you know, say without disrespecting one another because we just can't go anywhere and just talk to people about what we're talking about because they're not on the same frequency as we are okay we're made totally different okay we did not come here to serve the same purpose as the masses okay we're not in the masses we're not on the right hand path because there are very it's a broad path we're on the straight and narrow the left hand path very few travel that road now they tell you in church the opposite okay there are a lot of people on the broad end and most of those believe it or not are church people people who believe in jesus and people who believe just christians are on that broad path the path that we travel which is the left path is the straight and narrow that they talk about they think that they're on the straight and narrow and they're not Okay, we're taking the opposite path, the path nobody wants to travel. Okay, that's where we are on right there. The, the, the road, we're on the road to freedom because we do not have all of these restrictions on our life as they do. They say we rebel, but we do not rebel. We live the way our creator designed us to live. We do not live the way they say we should live. You see. So we have freedom of mind and consciousness. We are free thinkers. Okay. We are the ones that they say are the misfits. The, all of the different names and stuff that they give us, you know, the different things that they say about us or whatever. And it's because we are those who are the nonconformist. We are all the artists, the painters, the, mu the, the, the magicians, the musicians. We are the creative ones. And we have a lot to be excited about now because the old world, that other dimension, is dead and everything that was in it is dead we are we're in a new place right now okay they're in the land of the dead right now okay and that's not a place i would want to be right now we're in the land of the living right now okay so this is our world right now we're going to take over this world it's going to be ours once again now i know a lot of people do not understand what i'm talking about but you need to know about the invisible matrix those who don't understand and when you do some research and learn about the invisible matrix okay then you'll realize that we can go in there and we can manipulate shape shift and get whatever we want out of it and pull it out into our realities and we can do whatever we want it's going to be a very magical time for us, a wonderful time for us, where a lot of you all are time traveling and time jumping and quantum leaping and astral projecting. A lot of witches are doing more travels and stuff, and it's getting very real and intense, able to go to the arcanes, y'all know I can't pronounce it, and come back with unbelievable knowledge it's a wonderful time for all of us witches and warlocks okay and our community is growing okay a lot of people are leaving this 
dead place called church. Churches are being foreclosed, burned down. It's a wonderful time right now. Okay? It's a wonderful time. And um, and don't think that, I, you know, I'm just this person that's just looking for destruction. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm just looking for us to have more freedom for a change because we've always been burned at the stake. I've been here a couple of lifetimes and I've been burned at the stake a couple of times in my past lives. I have. And I have returned once again. You can burn me at the stake. You can crucify me. But I will be back. Once again, I sure will. I'll be back. Anyway, I want to talk a little bit about that wonderful gift called sex. Supernatural sex. I got a few emails on that. A lot of people were like, Mama, you drained me. You sucked my energy out of me or whatever. It's It's real. It's real. I really want to go into depth more about that because there's a lot of controversy on that situation uh, about the hierarchies that brought us here and how they say that we take the energy from people into ourselves and feed our gods and goddesses and different demons and angels. You know, and I do need to talk about that, you know, with a lot with a lot of you all. A lot of you all may know something about that. And if you would like to share it, uh, go right ahead and share it uh, because it's real. A lot of energy vampires are serving. Um, they say some of them say lower in gods yeah, on a lower astral level. But I think it's a little deeper than that. Okay, but I, I really got to get it together how I'm going to present it to you all because it's just nothing that I can just blurt out right now because it's, it's a system. It, it, it's definitely a system. It is. Not all of us come from the same place and we all do not serve the same God. The, mo- the mother of us, the material that makes up our body okay is from the earth so whereas we do share the same makeup physically spiritually it's something different going on their spirits may not have come from the same universe or solar system that my spirit came from. We're not all going back to the same place. And I'm not just necessarily talking about hell and heaven right now. Because everybody was sent here with a different agenda. Okay? You know what I'm saying? So I know that all of my family, we are from the same place because we're so familiar to each other. You know, you're, you, you could be a complete stranger to me physically, but I know your spirit. And we came here to serve our particular purpose. And we're going to do it. And we're going to get it right. Because, you know, we want to be able to evolve once we leave here physically and go to the spiritual world to one day become one of these advanced beings. The beings that I've spoken about in past videos. Never did get a chance to talk about the sex, y'all. But y'all know it's like that sometimes. Mama gets sidetracked, want to talk about some other things and stuff like that. And you know I'm going to talk about it. So it looks like to me, the supernatural sex video will come right after this one. Okay? Be back in a sec.